This is a Bailey Pegasus Encona, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van you've got your jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake, we'll demonstrate these to you in person here on site. In the front locker you've got the gas regulator on the bulkhead and the gas pipe work coming down to the bottle, it's a reverse thread fitment that comes into the front of the bottle. Then you've got your gas open for gas on and gas closed for gas off. So like I said you need to turn this fitment the opposite way to release it than what you would uh, a coke bottle lid for instance um, and that will allow you to release that fitment. On the other side of the van you've got a storage locker, you then got a, your onboard water tank which you can fill by pulling out this tank, uh, there's a, a cap on top where you can fill it through and it'll allow you to fill that, that tank up, um, you need to do that um, manually so you don't overfill the tank. And coming down the side of the caravan, you've got your heating hot water flue. You need to remove this cover to allow the heating hot water system to breathe. Um, when you're trying to ignite anything on gas, you would never leave that cover on when you are trying to ignite anything on gas inside of the caravan. You've then got your water pump connection, which you pull out from the side of the van and push into place. You can use the cap here to lock it into place. Next up is the fridge vents. These two fridge vents here are, are simply allowed to allow the fridge to let hot air out and take some cool air in. And behind the top cover on this right hand side, there is also a, a gas flue for when you're running the fridge on gas. The motor mover and wheel nuts will talk the wheel nuts while you're here on site and we'll also demonstrate the motor mover so you can see it's all working correctly. On the side of the van, you have two grey pipes that come out the side of the van. So they'll go into these large diameter holes here and they'll drop down inside the wastemaster. You've got the fresh water supply here and the wastewater that's been through the sinks and the shower will come back out the side of the van. On the back of the caravan you've got your two wind down legs to stabilise the caravan while it's on site. They are only there for stabilising the van, they are not there for lifting. If you lifted the caravan with the legs it could potentially damage the floor of the caravan. On the side of the van, you've got your toilet flush tank. You'd open up this flap and you'll put three and a half litres of water in here and a cap full of the pink fluid. Then in the bottom, you've got your toilet waste cassette in which you pull out by pulling up the orange handle and pulling the cassette towards you. Your orange neck here turns out 90 degrees, tip of waste away. The grey cap is a measure for your pink and your blue fluid. On the back of the cassette, you've got an orange pressure relief button so when you tip in the waste away, it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. It's one litre of water in there and a cap full of the, the blue fluid. On the other side of the caravan, you've got your battery locker. You'll open up the battery locker and you'll have your leisure battery on one side and your mains power lead coming into this side of the van. Going further down the side of the caravan, you'll have a three pin socket so you can have power coming out to your awning. At the front of the van, you've got your barbecue gas point and another storage locker, the same as the opposite side of the van. Going on to the inside now, I'm going to demonstrate how the inside works. So as you come into the caravan, on the left hand side you've got your master power switch, you've got your internal light, which will turn all the internal lights on and off in one go, you've got your awning light for the outside of the caravan and you've got your water pump run. We'll I'll show you how to fill the water system in a second. You've then got your um, voltmeter for the battery on board the caravan on the top here. So to fill the water system up you're going to need to open every tap on board the caravan up on the hot side of the water system, so I'm just going to move things out of the way. Open all the taps up on the hot side. As you can see, the water system's already been bled on here, but I'll demonstrate how to do it. So you'll leave all of them taps open. You'll come underneath the seat on the front right-hand side of the van. And underneath here, you'll find a yellow valve. That yellow valve needs to be flat with the floor to fill the water system up and upright towards the bottom of the seat to drain the water system down. So as you can see at the moment, we're filling, uh, we can hear the pump running there, which is allowing the water system to fill up. But when you do this initially, the pump will be turned off. So like I said, bell flat with the floor, as you can see at the moment. We'll then come over to the control panel by the door and we'll turn the water pump on. As you can see, the green light here indicates the water pump is running. Once you have water running continuously out of every tap on board the caravan, you'll shut all of the taps back off and you'll be able to start thinking about warming the water on board the van. There is two ways of warming the water up on this particular caravan. You've got the electric water heater on this top switch here, which you flick on, which allows the water system to heat up. Um, that's a preset temperature of around 35 to 40 degrees. Now on the bottom here, you have your option to run the gas water heating. You need to make sure the gas bottle is turned on in the front locker. If you want to warm the water up to 50 degrees, you'd flick the switch upwards and you'll get a green light up here on one side when it has ignited. And on the opposite side, if it fails to ignite, you'd get a red light. 
You also have the option to run it on 70 degrees of water temperature. As you can see, it has just failed to ignite uh, because the gas is turned off at the moment. But if the gas was turned on, that would ignite, ignite and you have a green light. The 70 degrees is very much the same. Um, the way it operates, it is just a warmer temperature. If you want to shower on board the caravan, we do advise that you use the gas as a boost. So it warms the water up a lot quicker than the electric supply that you see here. Obviously, both of these are turned off at the moment. But when you're on site, you'd have one or the other on. Um, if you're off grid, then you'd have to use the gas, obviously. And if you're on a mains powered site, use the gas, but when you shower, uh, use the electric, sorry. But when you're showering, use the gas to warm it a lot quicker. So that is your water heating for the caravan. We're now going to go over to the actual heating for the caravan on top of the heater itself. So again, there's two ways of running the heater. You've got gas on the dial on top here. I'm going to take you through the electric side first. Now, depending on what caravan site you're on, you'll either have 500,000 or 2,000 watts of power available. And what you need to do is have this switch on on the right hand side to run the heater on electric. You then spin this outer grey dial to the correct power setting for what you have available on that caravan site. And then you use the dial in the centre here to control the temperature of the heater. Essentially what it is, is the amount of elements it will warm up inside the heater, so between one and nine elements. Um, obviously the higher you go, the hotter the heater will get. If you're on a 2000 watt site, you'll use the 2000. If you're on a 1000 watt site, you'll use the 1000. To use the heater on gas, you'll spin the dial round on the uh, left hand side, the gas dial. Hold it between the five and the four and the five. Hold down the gas valve, and then when it has ignited on gas, you'll have a pilot light in the window down the front here. The blue light, oh, the blue pilot light that you'll see in there, will then need to be lit for five to ten seconds before you slowly release the gas valve on top, and then you'll be able to control the temperature of the heater on the dial on top. To turn the gas supply off. We'll spin it back to the off position at the top here. On the opposite side of the heater on top, you've got your controls for your blown air heating. Now the dial on top is your fan speed, between one and five, a bit like you've got in your car. The O, or the off position in the center here, allows the heat to come out the front of the heater. The A is manual blown air, so that is continuous blown air. So when we turn the fan speed up, you'll be able to hear that come on straight away. You can also use that as a cool air fan for during the summer. It's not air con. Uh, but it is a cool air fan and then for automatic blown air it will cut in and out with the thermostat on board the caravan so whatever you've got the heat setting here too and or or on the gas the thermostat will allow it to kick in and out with the temperature of the caravan to blow hot air around the van if it cools down or allow it to turn itself off if it gets too warm inside the caravan we we'll spin the dial back to the off position here and again the heat then will come out the front of the heater Hob, grill and oven all work very much the same as your household appliances, the same as the microwave above, but we just need to remember you need to have the gas on for this to work, and you do need to remember for the microwave to work you need to be on a 240 powered site, and when you are travelling we do advise you remove the microwave plate from in the microwave itself. Good little tip, store it down the side of the seat as you can see here. Be careful when you're sitting down though. We're next going to come to the fridge. Fridge is very simple to use. When the fridge is turned off, the switch will be straight up to the off position here. If you're on a mains powered site, you can put it onto the plug symbol and control the fridge temperature on the dial on the right hand side here. The thicker this line goes, the colder the fridge will be. You can also operate the fridge as a 12 volt cool box. So you can select 12 volt mode here. And that will essentially, when you connect to the car, allow you to use the fridge while you're traveling to get the Prosecco, beer, wine, nice and cold as you get to site. The temperature control will not work at that point because it's just a, a cool box mode um, which works with the 12 volt supply. If you want to ignite the fridge on gas, you can spin this dial to the bottom to the gas symbol. You'd hold in the gas valve and hit the igniter at the same time. And when the fridge ignites on gas, you'll have this little red line that comes around into the green. You, once that red line has hit the green, you'll continue to hold in the gas valve a bit like the heater for five to 10 seconds, then slowly release the valve. You'll then be able to control the temperature of the fridge again on the gas supply on this dial on the right hand side. To turn off the fridge, you'll turn it back to the off position at the top here. The last thing we go through on this particular caravan is the toilet system in the bathroom. You have an electric flush on the toilet which you press the blue button in for on top. Just underneath this shelf here you'll see there's a red light that appears when the toilet waste cassette is completely full. The toilet seat itself does turn for your convenience. 
um, to make it a lot easier to use with the space in the caravan. And below the toilet, you actually have your grey waste handle. This grey waste handle allows the toilet waste into the cassette under the van when it's in the open position just here. And when you're not using the loo, it needs to be in the closed position back over on the left hand side here. We, when you are removing the cassette from underneath the van, you will need to make sure it's in the closed position as if you try to remove the cassette with it open, it will actually damage the toilet waste cassette itself. So this is a Bailey Pegasus Ancona. If you have any further questions on the van, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'll be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here again soon. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.